Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. If you're new to the channel, a big warm welcome. And don't forget to subscribe and like if you're enjoying the video. But today, we'll be looking at the many fall treats that looked inviting to us around the Magic Kingdom, take a look at the merchandise for the season, and check out the many different character offerings. So let's jump right into it. As we are approaching the Magic Kingdom parking plaza, you can see that they are updating the colour scheme to match the updated colours on the castle. The blue on the left is the new colour which resembles the new colour on the spires of Cinderella's castle, and the blue on the right is the original colour. Disney have updated their signage so as to advise guests that masks must be covering the mouth and nose while in the Disney property, otherwise the guests will be asked to leave. This is one of the many character offerings you'll see throughout the day. The character experiences are random and so is the location and time. We will share with you the locations of the character offerings that we were able to experience. This particular interaction is at the front of the park and was early in the morning. Here you'll see everyone is in their full holiday costuming. So let's head over to the confectionery store and see what fall treats are inside. As we head in, we are immediately greeted by all of the sugary treats. As we head to the counter towards the back, we can see many of those yummy delights. There are very large sugar cookies and chocolate chip cookies on the upper right hand side as well. There are also smaller cookie sizes for a quick sugar fix and fun shaped rice cereal treats as well that we're about to see. They have four different kinds of fudge and some marshmallow treats as well and also dipped candy apples, so good. Let's head on out and check out the Dapper Dance and the band on Main Street USA. Now let's head on over and take a look at the holiday merchandise and see what's in store at the Emporium. So as you can see, there are shirts, baby clothes, and a plush Mickey. There's also Mickey ears as well that are exclusive for the holiday, and a lounge fly bag as well, and matching Crocs also. 
What I did enjoy seeing is that they have added kitchen towels and candles as well for their holiday merchandise. I thought that was really nice. We came across this sweet character interaction on the porch of Crystal Palace with Winnie the Pooh and friends. Leaving Adventureland and heading towards Frontierland is Pecklesbill Tall Tale Inn and Cafe. In this old western style saloon, you can find a fajita platter, an Agus bacon cheeseburger, various salads, various nacho entrees, and holiday exclusives as well. So let's grab some exclusive items while we're here. At this location, like many others, uh, we will need to place a mobile order. Once the My Disney Experience app notifies you that your order is ready, we will head to the cast member and be directed to the station where we will pick up our order. This is the link that comes up when we hold our camera from the phone on that QR code. Then we can just tap on order food and make our selections. The first item we ordered is the Hades nachos. These are black bean nacho chips with fiery buffalo chicken. It comes with lettuce, tomato, sour cream, salsa, and jalapenos individually on the side so we can mix and match to our preferred taste. The buffalo sauce is very savory and had a little kick but not too spicy. The second item we also ordered here is the cinnamon donut holes in a hitchhiking ghost. These warm donut holes are ricotta dropped mini donuts rolled in cinnamon sugar. These were delicious bite sized delights. It comes with a container on the back to put our donuts in and it also lights up. 
it was so good to see the Dapper Dans performing in their themed costuming. Here in Fantasyland, right across from the Seven Doors Mine Train ride is Storybook Treats. They have sundaes, soft serve ice cream, floats, and beverages. Let's grab another holiday treat! I love that they have contactless payments at this location. It is so easy and so convenient when I'm on the go. Here we can get the Poor Unfortunate Souls float inspired by Ursula. It is a cream cheese soft serve with black raspberry syrup and coke. This is one of my favorites and perfectly balanced between the coke and sweetness of the syrup. I can definitely go for another one of these. Now let's make our way into Tomorrowland and see what we can find at Cosmic Ray Starlight Cafe. What I like about this place is that there are many outdoor and indoor seating areas. Mobile orders are also required. Let's open the camera on our smartphone and focus the camera over the QR code. A link will automatically pop up where we can just tap and this page will come up where I can place our order. Now that I have made my order and selected my arrival window, I get this confirmation page. When I go back to the home page of my Disney Experience app, I can see a link that shows my order. Then I can tell the app that I am at the location and tap on I'm here, prepare my order. When our order is ready, I will get this page with the order number and pickup window number. We will need to show this to the cast member to be directed to the pickup window and grab our food. The holiday exclusive item here at Cosmic Rays is the Mickey Monster Mash Burger. It has a burger with monster cheese, tater tots, bacon, sriracha aioli and a fun Mickey held grilled onto the top of the bun of the burger. It really was delicious and hot as well. And here we are at Auntie Gravity's Galactic Goodies where they serve milkshakes, sundaes, smoothies and floats. There are two fall treat items which are the pumpkin spice sundae and the pumpkin spice milkshake. A mobile order is not required on this location and orders can be made at the register. Today we ordered the pumpkin spice milkshake topped with whipped cream, caramel drizzle and sprinkles. Now let's move on and grab another holiday exclusive snack. So right in front of Peter Pan's flight ride is Pinocchio Village House. This is a quick service location that offers pizzas, chicken nuggets, salad, and of course desserts. Here we can get the not so poison apple cupcake. It is a spiced apple cupcake with pecan crunch buttercream themed after a poison apple. The cupcake itself was very nice and it was loaded with frosting galore. We hope you have enjoyed the look at the Magic Kingdom fall treats and holiday entertainment. 
Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button, it really does help the channel. Also, click on the bell so you're notified when the next episode will be available. Until next time, we'll, we'll see, see you real soon! soon.